The Roald Dahl Audio Collection is a compilation of five beloved stories by Roald Dahl, each featuring unique characters, fantastical scenarios, and moral lessons. In Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, young Charlie Bucket, who lives in poverty with his family, wins a golden ticket to visit the mysterious and magical chocolate factory owned by Willy Wonka. Inside, Charlie and the other four golden ticket winners, Augustus Gloop, Veruca Salt, Violet Beauregard, and Mike TV, embark on a tour filled with whimsical wonders and strange confections. While the other children succumb to their greed and impulses, Charlie's kindness and humility stand out. In the end, Charlie inherits the chocolate factory in recognition of his good heart and integrity. James and the Giant Peach tells the story of James Henry Trotter, an orphan boy living with his cruel aunts Spiker and Sponge. After a magical encounter, James finds a giant peach growing in their garden. Inside the peach, he meets a group of oversized talking insects, including a spider, a centipede, and a ladybug, who become his companions. They set off on a fantastic journey across the ocean, confronting challenges such as monstrous sharks and floating through the sky, tethered to seagulls. James learns about friendship, courage, and the power of imagination as they make their way to New York City, where James finds a new, happier life. In Fantastic Mr. Fox, the clever Mr. Fox lives with his family and constantly steals food from three farmers, Bogus, Bunce, and Bean, to feed his family. Frustrated by his thefts, the farmers unite to capture and kill Mr. Fox. They wait outside his foxhole and even try to dig him out, but Mr. Fox outwits them at every turn. He devises a plan to tunnel into the farmer's storehouses, stealing food not just for his family, but for all the other hungry animals in the vicinity who have suffered because of the farmer's obsession with catching Mr. Fox. In the end, the animals enjoy a feast, while the farmers are left waiting in vain. The enormous crocodile revolves around a greedy crocodile with an insatiable appetite for children. The crocodile boasts to the other animals, including the not-so-bright hippopotamus and the wise elephant, about his secret plans and clever tricks for capturing children to eat. As the crocodile sets out to execute his plans, the other animals band together to thwart his efforts. They work to save the children and ultimately teach the crocodile a lesson. The crocodile's final trick turns against him, and he meets a humorous and fitting end. Lastly, the magic finger is narrated by an unnamed girl with a special power. When she sees something unjust or angering, she can point her finger and cause magical things to happen. The girl is neighbors with the Gregg family, who are avid hunters. She disapproves of their hunting, and one day, unable to hold back her anger, she points her magic finger at them. The next morning, the Greggs wake up to find themselves transformed into miniature people with bird-like features, while the ducks they hunted have taken on human characteristics and are living in their house. The Greggs learn what it's like to be hunted and realize the error in their ways. Through this experience, they gain empathy for the animals and vow never to hunt again. Throughout these stories, Roald Dahl weaves themes of justice, the power of kindness, the importance of intelligence and resourcefulness, and a critique of cruel or arrogant behaviors. His characters, often children or animals, are put in situations that require bravery and a sense of moral righteousness. In each tale, those who exhibit malevolence or egotism are met with comeuppance, while those who are kind, clever, and good-hearted ultimately triumph. The stories in the Roald Dahl audio collection are not just simple tales of fantasy, but parables that extol the virtues that Dahl found important in life. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.